The National Assembly complex, like any federal building, is due for a facelift or, if you like, a rehabilitation, and the job must be given out. The FCT Minister, Mohamed Bello, has announced that the work on the complex, which is ongoing, would go up the sum of 30.222 billion naira. The Senate Committee on the FCT carried out an oversight visit to various projects being constructed by the FCDA, Federal Capital Development Authority. Now, the minister disclosed that the original cost of the renovation was 37 billion, captured in the 2020 budget. But the total cost of the work on the assembly complex is outside the 128 billion naira annual budget of the lawmakers. Are there dissenting voices? Are there dis dissenting voices? There shouldn't be dissenting, dissenting voices. voices here. There is no money to, to fix that thing. We should do, for me, I don't think it's, that is what you should be talking about. Okay. Actually, um, that's not his question. He no, no, no. Is, is anybody dis disagreeing with me? Uh -huh. We must renovate the National Assembly. I disagree with you. Huh? That I'm, Yes, we must renovate the he, National he, Assembly. He, yeah, but if I, if I understand your question. Uh, let's thrash no, it no, out if here. I, We must renovate. Hmm. Yeah. If, the, if the National Assembly requests renovation, it should be, because they say it has not been renovated since, since 19, 1999. 1999. Yeah. But the truth of the matter is, if there is paucity of funds, like the minister said, the minister said that, but the, it, it wasn't a uh, priority because they had to also talk about, uh, also um, build some infrastructure and all of mm. that. Now, the truth of the matter is that which, infra which projects is going to better the lives of people, better, better the lives of people more. Is it the renovation of the National Assembly? I'm not saying the National Assembly complex should not be renovated. But as, as things start now, okay, the thing was, I think it was discontinued in 2020 because of COVID yeah. uh, and all of that. There was an adjustment and all revised of that. revised budget. So not, there's no yeah. problem with the renovation of a National Assembly complex when it is necessary. But I'm not sure because we have scarcity of funds now and all of that. I think that if there are better, if there are, if there are more urgent projects that will make lives better for the people, maybe there are still some other part of Abuja that the roads are bad. I'm, I'm not that in the, in the, I know that in the city center and all of that, but there are some parts of Abuja that people may need better life. Mm. So I think that if the ministry, or if the, uh, the FCT ministry believes that there are better, there are more urgent projects. I think they should, they should just go ahead mm. with that. Jide, are you for or nay? No, the, I pity us as a country. <laughs> I, I really pity Nigerians. Mm. When you hear of humongous sums of money being spent on projects in our country, in our country, first and foremost, the contract sums are the highest in the world. Oh, yeah. The percentage paid out to carpet baggers, to people who facilitate stuff, is also the highest in the world. Mm -hmm. The level of greed. The highest. Mahatma Gandhi was talking about the level of greed is also the highest. Mm -hmm. People steal from our country. Without compulsion. Believing that the country is doomed to die. Therefore, they can't be bothered. I have been to the National Assembly a number of times. Frankly, frankly, I have not seen what should require us to spend this kind of money on yeah. innovation. It's still a very beautiful place. It's still sitting majestically where it is. And when you enter it, look, I've taken even white people to the National Assembly. And they were like, wow, wow, wow. Hmm. That's where we still want to spend 30.2 billion. This 30.2 billion that we want to spend will guarantee water supply in many communities across, across different states. countries. Across different states. You know, 30 billion... And when you do that... GD, it have, sounds uh, like the budget of many, many local government areas. 
put of together. Of course, that is when greedy governors even afford them mm. the chance to lay hands on the money. Mm. Because we see governors don't, they, 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 they think that even the money meant for local governments belongs to, yeah. to them. That's what they do. So I'm saying that, look, water supply, which will ensure that our people don't die of cholera the way they are dying. Do you know that Abuja was one of the worst hits in terms of cholera last year? Just check. Abuja, when you look at communities across our country that suffered from cholera, Abuja was one of one of the uh, bad was hit. it? Yes. Yeah. Those satellite towns and, and mm. all that. That kind of money, there is what we call the principle of utilitarianism. The happiness of the greater number. Mm. This money will deliver joy to a lot more people than the people in the National Assembly who think that. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I, I, don't even, I don't even understand. It, it, Paul, it's, I, it's, still I, not a, it's still not I, looking bad at all. Paul, I don't spend this kind of money. I wonder if your mathematics, your knowledge of mathematics is better than mine. 30.222. The point two 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 is enough to, to <laughs> renovate. You, you know, uh, I can understand what uh, Vico is saying. <laughs> and we are all in this country. We know how they inflate mm. figures and all, all of that. They just say, mention... This amount, as if it's, <sighs> I, I think that I, I align, I align with his thoughts. That there are so many people that are suffering. There are so many people that would benefit from this amount if you if we use that. No, no, no. I beg, look directly into the camera and ask the FCT minister. One billion no go do the job. One. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. They're making it look like they want to change virtually everything there. Yeah, because because thirty billion is like building a new structure. Yes, you can actually build a new a national assembly complex with thirty billion. Thirty billion, depending on depending on how frugal you are. No one can convince me that you can't build a national assembly complex with thirty billion. Thirty billion is a lot of money. It's a lot of money. I said. A billion is a million in a thousand places. Maybe they've forgotten that that's what it is. Maybe I should not have said it. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. 3.22, oh uh, it's, it's a lot of money. It, Frankly, it's a lot of 222 money. 222 The cost million. of providing water supply for our people. Yeah. Honestly, the cost of providing renewable energy, energy for tons of communities, dozens of communities. It's not, it's not that expensive. Yeah. You'll be able to bring joy to a lot more people than people already overfed, overpampered. Uh, and uh, Paul, when I heard that the National Assembly has uh, given the okay for states to generate electricity, uh, it gave me a lot of joy because electricity generation is on the concurrent list. Mm. So you are looking at 30 billion to renovate a building that already has been in use and so on. And there's no compunction, no ripples. It seems to me that when people get to, to such places, their mind, they say, their mind bends. They behave like people that are living in alternate reality. You know, mm. people are suffering. I mean, this, many of them were, of course, were part of the, 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 before they got into power, Many, I'm sure many of them were critics of government of the day. Yes, no. But I, when they get there, something just bends their mind. Maybe because there's a, lot of, there's a lot of free money to throw around. They just behave like they are no longer Nigerians. They are no longer living in our own reality. They are living in another world. In, in, they in think a, in a they season of extreme hunger, hmm. there are certain figures that we shouldn't be banding about. Oh, yes. Because it suggests that you are, you are insensitive. Uh -uh. When people hear that... You want to spend this kind of money on renovation, not building a new one. Simply on renovation. Okay, what identify the areas that what need retouching here yeah. and there. Yeah. Identify if you identify someone else we do that project for a lot less. A lot that is the less. point. It is possible. Mm. Even 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 uh, contrast sums vary from state to state. What do you mm. what it costs to a toilet to build 
that overhead bridge in Olaya, in Oshobo. Mm. Some other people will spend five times that amount. Mm. Some other people, some some governors will spend five times that amount. Remember when uh, when uh, this governor, the governor of Ebony and the governor of Rivers, when they were exchanging words. Yeah. Over structures and yes, all remember that. Yes, well, remember what the Ebony man was saying about the cost of projects. Mm. You know? So it the, varies, yes, it varies from man to man, state to state. You hear about some projects. Of course, Abuja is the center of corruption in our country. <laughs> you know? The no, greatest it, people it, in Abuja that you will find them. Abuja remains the center of unity. You know? That's what... Uh, I, I don't know about corruption. Oh, if you, when you go to Abuja, you know what corruption hey, is. You, you go I take... can suggest some place to go to. Okay. From the first desk, the first civil servant that you encounter, <laughs> you will know that corruption is working on two legs. Have you heard, in they, Abuja. somebody said they are federal civil servants mm. and asked, spell that civil. We just take the uh, the C come it's out. It's even the civil servants. Remove the C and, uh -huh. and the I. Uh -huh. Then replace the I with E. Okay. You get a fear. It's even the civil servants that even encourage these politicians to be more. <laughs> they allow culture to fester. No, but they teach them the tricks uh, because some of them I'm, come in, uh, uh, they win the election, they don't understand. But they are there because they are there. They are there permanently. They okay. Know, the the debate the will continue. Tricks. The debate will continue. The debate will go on, but then we are saying our business is just to help mold opinion for you based on the facts we get. 30.222 billion for renovation of the National Assembly. Would you like to see the National Assembly renovated for that amount? 